Hello everyone, I am Amir Regev from Webit Nano and I'm very happy to be here today. This is my sixth FMS presentation starting from 2019, where I presented in two sessions. One was rerun as embedded memory, just like this session, and the other one was in the AI track, rerun for AI. That was quite long ago, before COVID, before ChatGPT enter our lives, and still we could see these two trends ahead of time. And now, six years later, I'm going to talk about them today. A short intro for those who are less familiar with the basic physics of rerun. The main advantage is the seamless compatibility and the low cost, which makes it highly manufacturable. Unlike other NVM technologies, our rerun uses only two added masks with existing deposition techniques and tool sets, which makes it easy and the most cost-effective NVM technology to date. In addition, it is scalable and fill the gap that Flash left as a non-scalable technology below 28 nanometer. Each year in this session, I describe the road we are paving. Last year, we were just starting our automotive grade qualification, which we fully completed at the beginning of this year, meeting ACQ100, which is the most stringent reliability requirement qualification process. We started this year by kicking off the collaboration with OnSemi for their Drio platform and the demo chip of 1 megabit at DB Hitech Fab. Then we continued to elevate the data retention to 175 centigrade to meet grade zero automotive mission profiles. And now we are standing with three FAB partners, demonstration of our technology on various FABs and nodes from aluminum to copper on both 200 millimeter and 300 millimeter wafer sizes, ranging from 130 nanometer to 22 nanometer FinFET nodes. Webit is uniquely positioned as the market only independent provider of qualified reram, with the other two qualified reram technologies belonging to TSMC and UMC. As foundries, neither will license its ISP technology to other foundries or IDMs, providing a large and growing market for Webit's reram as the industry looks to replace embedded flash in next generation devices. In the AR front, we already demonstrated two demo use cases using our reram. The first one was shown here in FMS in 2019, Spirit Demo, with our partner Letty that demonstrated object recognition by spiking neural network and a newer demo that is presented elsewhere. As VRAM is well suited for AI, enabling both storage of neural network weights and in-memory computation, we show here three main time periods. Short term, storing synaptic weights as embedded NVM in edge devices, a midterm in-memory compute implementation for AI and machine learning, where the computation can be done within the RERAM array itself, avoiding the need to export and import data in and out of the chip. Currently, 90% of the energy is used to move data from the processor to the memory back and forth, and by using in-memory computation, massive energy is being saved by this. The long term will replace the vector matrix multiplication operation by doing multiply and accumulate using large RERAM array, using the built-in multiplication and summation by Kirchhoff law and Ohm's law, saving expensive SRAM usage with much lower cost and energy efficient RERAM arrays. And now back from the future to the present. The automotive market is the fastest growing market today, going more and more into autonomous mode. As our RERAM is highly stable in high temperatures, it can meet the toughest reliability requirements of high operating temperatures and high endurance, larger than 100K cycles. RERAM is a scalable technology beyond 28 nanometers and is not sensitive to magnetic interference or radiation and is already targeted for various automotive applications for cold storage, power management, 
motor control, etc., which is used in advanced vehicles today. For each product use case, there may be different mission profiles depending on the intended functionality of the product. For example, engine control usage temperature and time exposure may be very different from under the hood sensor or infotainment system. Robotaxi requirement is very different than a regular car or a truck, so we need to cover several wide mission profile use cases. In this graph, we show our high temperature bake test with a very high stability and very small difference between 1000 and 2000 hours bake at 175 centigrade after 100k endurance cycles and this enabled to meet race zero application. In addition, we conducted ELFR, which is early life failing rate test, baking large number of units for 48 hours and showing zero failures. This ensures very high reliability and no failure expected in this field. This slide shows the automotive grade ACQ100 qualification process, meeting all required stress tests with no failures. This includes all the NVM test requirements with the sample size from three different lots to assure high statistical quality and reliability in the field application. These tests are done according to the JEDEC and ACQ100 uh, specs. By running ELFR, which is early life failing rate test described in previous slide, we concluded all the ACQ100 reliability qual tests successfully. To summarize this talk, automotive applications demand reliable embedded NVM for control, data storage, and data logging. We will meet these needs by scaling effectively below 28 nanometer, offering high temperature reliability, endurance, data retention, and EMI immunity. It outperforms traditional E-Flash and MRAM in cost, stability, and complexity. We completed automotive grade qualification this year, extending the temperature range to grade zero emission profile application. And we are working with commercial fab in high gear towards productization, qualifying our RIRAM IP in NVM embedded products. In addition, we are developing our AI capability for edge application, where we already demonstrated two AI demo using our RIRAM. This slide concludes my talk, summarizing Webit position as a leading licensor and developer of innovative RIRAM IP for a new era of connected devices. Thank you very much for your attention.